Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Uh, Nate's going to give you a class and it's on range estimating. It's complicated, it's got some formulas, but I think if you watch this video a few times you can get it. If not, uh, send me an email at southernprepper1 at yahoo.com and I'll be glad to get on the phone with you and walk through any problems that you're having uh, so you can understand this task because this task is a very important task. Uh, you don't have to be in the military to know how to do this to range estimate. Uh, knowing your distance from you to your target is the hardest thing. When you figure that out, uh, it's very easy to put accurate rounds on onto the target. Um, so let's turn it over to Nate. Nate, go ahead. Okay. So we're doing another range estimation. Uh, we're going to be milling, talking about milling targets and using a mill relation formula to convert those mills into meters to figure out how far our target is from us. Um, before we dive too deep into it, we're going to talk just a little bit about reticles. A reticle is going to be your crosshairs that you find in your rifle scopes. You're going to find them in some binoculars, some binoculars, and you're going to find them in your spotting scopes. Now, not all reticles are mill scale reticles. There's some civilian ones and other, other measurements. So make sure that your reticle is a mill scale reticle. Um, there's so many reticles on the market, the best thing for you to do would be to look up your make and model of your scope and your reticle to get all your measurements. Each hash mark, tick mark, sub tents, they all stand for different stuff in every single reticle. So the measurements on this reticle may not apply to your reticle. Um, so I'm not going to get too deep into this. So let's talk a little bit about target size because we're going to need Part of our formula is knowing our target size. So there's some ways we can do this. Um, you can look at the target and just estimate. Well, it's about you know 30 inches wide or whatever it looks like. Or you can measure stuff. So the best way to do it is this is a must-have. A cloth measuring tape. Pick them at Walmart, Amazon, anywhere. Get them. So when you're moving through an area. You're going to measure common stuff in that area. So you know that most common doors are 36 inches wide. Okay? Write this down in your notebook. Keep this information. <clears throat> measure stop signs in your area. Measure any features that are common in your area so you can store those measurements. So if you're set up in a hide site and you have a stop sign out there or you have a building with a door, you already know the target measurement of that, so you can you can use that information to get the distance to it. Um, the common person, it, from shoulder to shoulder, is 20 inches, and most people, from the top of their head to right at their groin line, is about 40 inches. So, with some of this common information, you can use that in this formula. So, for our formula today, we're using a, a little silhouette person here and we're using the measurement of 20 inches wide from shoulder to shoulder. Okay, so that's what we're using. So our mill relation formula that I prefer is measuring the target in inches. There's other formulas out there that measure the target in meters and, and whatnot. Um, but this is the one I prefer, this is the one I use the most. And this formula is 25.4 times the size of the object in inches. Okay. Now this 25.4 will always stay the same for this formula. You're not going to find this number up here in your reticle. You're not going to find this number anywhere. This number stays with this formula every time. If you're using the inches, it's going to be 25.4. Okay. And you're going to work this top section. So let's, let's take a look at what that top section looks like and break it down a little bit. Okay. So, it's 25.4 times the object in inches is going to be your constant number. Okay. So, we know our object in inches is, is 20 inches. We've got a 20-inch target. So, we're simply going to put 20 inches right here. So, 25.4 times our 20-inch is 508. Okay. So, we just worked the top half of this problem here. Okay, so let's move on to the second half of this equation. 
size of the object in mils. Okay, this is where our reticle is going to come in, and this is where we have to use our reticle to mill the target. So, when we're milling a target, it does not matter where you mill it at on your reticle. You can mill it up here, you can mill it over here, down here. It does not matter where you mill it in this in this reticle. Um, every reticle, like I said, is different and has different uh, uh, relations per tick mark. Um, I know on this exact uh, reticle here that these small hash marks are three mils wide. So I know that this this hash mark is three mils wide. So I can mill it right here and I'm going shoulder to shoulder and it, it's three mils wide. So at this point you would be looking through these binos and you would see that reticle and you would put your thing you're trying to measure with mills between these hash marks and these hash marks you're going to find on these binos or in your rifle scope or whatever you're using spotting scope um, so now we have the information of three mils this target is three mils wide that's what it's milling at okay and you can do it up here like I said you can mill it down here it doesn't matter where you mill it at with your reticle and you're only looking at that short little line show them very specific please yep so for this reticle, these smaller hash marks from the edge here to the edge over here, I know is three mils. These bigger ones are six mils. So do not pay attention to these numbers right now. These numbers mean nothing at this point. Correct. So now that we have that information that this target is three mils wide, that's the second half of our equation, the information we need for the size of the object in mills. So we just milled our target with our binos, your rifle scope, your spotting scope, whatever you're using, and we got the information of three mills. So let's punch that in to our formula. Well, remember, we already worked the top half, and we came up with 508. So now we're going to divide 508 by three mills which gives us 169.3 meters to the target. So it's a very simple process once you figure it out. It's a little confusing at first, um, but if you pause it, take notes, rewatch it, it becomes a lot easier. Get out there and practice it. And this, you're gonna use this every time you set up in a hide site. It doesn't matter if you're intending to take a shot or not. You will use this every single time you go out. You'll use it for making your range cards, your sector sketches, um, setting TRPs, which is your target reference points. So you will use this every time you set up, even if you're intending on not taking a shot on some, but on a target. Um, so once you master this, once you learn this, we can teach you another way to backwards reverse this formula and you can measure items out there at a distance too so you know the size of buildings and other stuff like that so once you get this down the skill set we can move on to the next one and there's a lot we can do with this um, if you have any questions like he said earlier um, get in contact with us and we'll help you figure this out do you have anything else to add to it no very good it's just a skill that you need to learn it's not as cool as some of the other things we do in life but this will save your life. This can help save your family's life, having this information. Um, I try to keep it very basic. There's a lot more you can go into it. Um, I'm just trying to start at the very basic in the beginnings. Um, stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming at you with uh, sniper-related stuff. Thanks for watching.